Hello everyone, this is Code with Vlad, and in this tutorial I'd like to talk about the organization of functional components. With React 16.8 we had functional components and hooks. That is a great feature, it helps a lot with code clarity, but there's a problem. When you have a big, very big functional component, it becomes quite unreadable. So I was working on, on some project and I realized that my components really became unreadable especially when you have like nested uh, functionalities and nested components. For instance, here, let's, let's move that here. Let's check this example. So I have a notification icon component and inside I have a notification dropdown component. And you know, and you see it's all a big mess. You have a mix of state of logic and view and you can have basically an infinite amount of, of uh, children like that. You have another component with its own state, its own logic, and its own view. So let's take a simple example to see how we can organize that better. Here I have a very simple app that basically increments the score. I have this score state, I have some business logic, I have an effect. So basically, if I click the button, the score is being incremented with set score, that logic, and I have an effect that just console locks the score when the score changes. So I click here and I have some console locks here and the score is being incremented. That is fine, but imagine it was a component that was much bigger, a bit like what I had here, right? So how would we organize it? You could do it uh, different ways, but I think the most powerful way is to use React built-in custom hooks. So um, custom hooks are basically hooks that you can share between components. So you can put that and that in a function and share it between different components. Well, here we are going to use custom hooks to better organize one component. So we're going to break down the business logic, the store, and maybe later those views. But for now, the most important one is to get this store and this effect away. So, so let's create a custom hook. It's a function and let's say um, score logic. And we are going to move the score here and the effect. and maybe also this function, so we don't pollute the main components with that. And now the use state and use effect is in red, saying that it's not a React component and it's not a custom hook. So you cannot use the state inside that simple function. And we're going to turn that function in a hook, simply prepend it with use, use score and the warning will disappear. Now we are going to export what we need. We don't need to export set score. It's an internal private variable if we want. We need to export that, that, and that we can leave. So let's return score and increment score. And let's call our custom hooks in our main React component. Use score logic. And we're going to export score and increment score. So you see now we have cleaned our main component, it's much clearer and our business logic is in another function, let's put it there maybe, and our view is here, so it's much cleaner than before. Now to push it a bit further, I mean in that case that, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but imagine you have a big big component, so I want to share that score between different parts of my of my components, let's say I want to... I want to separate that. I can say render score count and it will just return that. And instead of having a props object and configuring it as a React component, we can just pass the score as a number. Here we go and just render it like that. Score. And the score is shared directly from our custom hook. So it's, uh, it's really nice. And we can even do the same with that. Let's say function render increment button. 
and we just need to pass the increment uh, score. It's a function and it needs to return that button. And here we go, we can refresh the app and it is working. And in that case, it's very, very clear. You have the state, if you want logic in one function and you can break your component as much as you want. So if we compare with that, we could put that state uh, thing and that uh, stuff in a function, maybe break those things and generate them with map. Basically, you can really simplify your big component into smaller chunks, reusable chunks of code. I hope this video was useful for you. Subscribe, like, share. More videos will come. See you next time.